T.J. Ward, a Solvang man who used to run Oriana Winery, faces dozens of criminal charges tonight, including embezzlement. News Channel 3's Tracy Lair joins us live from the Oriana Winery in Santa Barbara's Funk Zone. And Tracy, this investigation actually took a couple of years. That's right. It started in 2013, and that winemaker used to work right here in Santa Barbara. Last week, he was arrested in Buellton, and today he pled not guilty to all charges. Christian Garvin became a familiar face in the local wine industry, promoting events and Oriana wines. The former winemaker and Oriana general manager is now facing embezzlement and tax fraud charges. His recent arrest and court appearance are all the buzz at wineries across the street. Unfortunately, what I think it has is an effect on the wine community, and in particular, it maybe has an effect on the Santa Barbara wine community, which is unfortunate. You know, it's like the one bad apple kind of thing. And we don't even know if he was really a bad apple or not. Obviously, that's for the courts to decide. The investigation began two years ago when Garvin owned a 10% stake in the business and two business partners from Los Angeles owned the rest. After an audit, their relationship soured and they parted ways. Soon the partners called Santa Barbara police. They thought they'd lost $200,000, but prosecutors say it's more than six times that. The district attorney's office today filed a 58 count complaint alleging grand theft, uh, alleging uh, tax evasion charges for 2008 through 2013 and then 49 counts of money laundering. We've also uh, alleged enhancements for excessive taking of over a million three. Garvin is suspected of creating a bogus bank account with a name similar to the one used by Ariana Winery LLC. Investigators believe Garvin funneled money into it and then out to his personal accounts. And he pleaded not guilty today, but a bail hearing was pushed back until tomorrow. They could reduce the bail. Currently, it's set at $400,000. And also, they will be setting a preliminary hearing date. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. Okay, thank you, Tracy.